thing on my phone. I asked, I pleaded with the Garda to let us through. I was not aggressive. I said, please let us through. I have it on my phone, my solicitor has it, and it will be all, it's all over Twitter, because I am not going away. I am not going to be done for something I haven't done. Let's just uh, examine exactly what happened. As, as, as the guys before me said, uh, this was all planned. This was all instigated. This is called baiting of peaceful protesting to try and get charges, to try and instill fear in people that are protesting their constitutional rights. We all know that. So, whenever they refuse to move, and I have all those, their, their badge numbers, and about five or six badge numbers on that front line of Garda that would not move after me begging, pleading, announcing that we were peaceful, no aggression shown, they would not move. When we went back to the van, a large crowd was trying to was congregate at this stage. There was a group of about 150 people at the van, and they purposely pulled the van back about two meters, and they had three Garda posted at the bottom and the wall where you could exit, and holding that together with a bike in front of them. After, after trying to be beg, plead, they were still not wouldn't let us out. Then, then we hear a girl screaming. We hear the crowd hears a girl screaming. I think she was being manhandled by one of the guard at this point. The crowd, everybody, it's a human instinct. Whenever you hear screaming, you turn to the screaming. And everybody started congregating at that exact exit point. And that created a, a crush. So the guard acted dangerously. They nearly caused death that day. This is the truth. They nearly caused death. They caused a, they almost caused a crush. I was in the middle of that crowd, about four bodies back, four, four body rows back, people behind me, people in front of me. I had no option but to go with the crowd and fall out onto Grafton Street. What happened then? I was pinned down by three absolute animals of Garda. I was battened, battened, battened three times on my leg, right? Three times my leg, had pictures for everything. On my leg, it was bleeding. After Thursday, it took 12 hours to leave. I have pictures from this date, the version. This is what they told. This is only a slight. I had to put my arm up to stop him hitting me. He almost broke my wrist. He almost broke my wrist. That's a market of buttons that they did use. He put handcuffs. He put handcuffs on me. I nearly, he, he nearly, he nearly cut my wrist. Look at that. That's from the handcuffs. I begged. I was not resisting. I was not resisting. I was not aggressive. And I was dragged off by two Garda. Dragged off. I had their numbers. I had their names. This is assault. This is assault. This is assault. And what did they charge me with? Public order. I didn't commit a crime, I didn't commit public order. So Drew Harris, this is an appeal to you Drew Harris. Strike out all those public order offences from last Thursday. Strike them all out. Strike them all out. Do the right thing. Strike them all out. There's no aggressive behaviour. Strike them all out. I was dragged off. I announced her breaking my arm to the two Garda, to, to which one of them said, in my ear, good, good. That's what he said, in my ear, good, good. Okay, what did I do to deserve this? What did I do to deserve this? I wasn't aggressive. I didn't touch one of them. I was just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, yeah. And the funny thing was, when I got back to Star Street, I spoke to them, and they acted as if nothing had happened. They're, they're actually normal people, just like you and me. I tried, I, tried to, I tried to educate them on why we were there. They listened. They seemed like they were listening, but they were a completely different animal on Grafton Street.
And they were told to do what they did. They were told to do what they did. They don't come out on the street hoping to harm people. They were told to be heavy handed. To try and deter any, anybody that wants to get become part of these protests. This is a constitutional right to protest. I've never protested in my life until this situation happened. Never! Never! They're taking away our rights every fucking day of the week. You want to stand up for ourselves now? If you don't stand up now to this tyranny, they will take everything from us. It's time, and we're not here to fight. We're here to stand for our freedoms and our constitutional rights. You can call us the far right, you can call us whatever the fuck you want. We're not violent people. Show your head. We're not violent people. We're not here to fight Garda. We're not here to cause trouble. We're not here to cause damage. We're here for justice. We're here for justice, freedom, and the truth. Yes, sir. Yes. But I'm going to speak to myself. What happened last Thursday has made me a million times more motivated to come back here. Every yeah. single day. A million yeah. times more motivated. Stand here. 100%. And I'm going to keep talking the truth. Keep coming. I'm going to keep spreading the truth. And all to me, you know, all the MSN, MSN, Irish Times, the Rocks, they're all in on this. They're all part of the government propaganda regime. They're all in on it. Liars. Where is their conscience? Where is their conscience? All you guys, where is your conscience? What's the, what's the caption going to be tomorrow in the paper? Not far right, not far right just right. Yeah. Yeah. Truth and freedom! That's all I'm going to say for now.